Hi guys, uh, this is my Kindle Fire which runs uh, Jelly Bean. Uh, I think the ROM is from Energy. I upgraded from uh, Ice Cream Sandwich to Jelly Bean. And I want to show you the neat performance that it actually gives to the um, Kindle Fire. I mean, I just did not like the stock carousel look and even the launchers, they had that na nasty bar down there that I just couldn't get rid of. And, every, you know, it wasn't a real tablet, you know, it was just, a, you know, basically an e-reader, but it had the capability to be more than that. So, I found Energy's ROM and I installed it with the Goo Manager. Uh, it's a manager that actually lets you download multiple ROMs and try them all out. But what I wanted to do in this video is show you guys how to change your boot animation. If your device is rooted, all you need to do is download boot animations. That's what it's called. You can actually purchase it for three dollars and you can create your own boot animations. For example, you can... these are uh, up top, those are uh, boot animations for the phone. And this is what one of them looks like. This is what actually would happen if you were to turn it off and turn it on. This is what you would look at while it's booting. So let's get out of there. I have. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, boot animations here, even the, the ones for the phone, that can actually fit on the Kindle Fire it, without any problems but there are some that you can actually tell you know because it starts stretching them and it's just not worth it it's, it's better to put one that is designed for a tablet so I'll show you mine my favorite boot animation it's called Blue Hall Blue Hallway And let me try to find it. Um, here, Blue Hall. So this is what you're looking at while you're booting up. It's it's very cool. I like it a lot. And there's plenty more where that came from. I mean, you've seen all those uh, animations. I mean, you can try them all out if you want. And uh, everything pretty much works. When it comes to games, I've noticed a huge difference uh, from the carousel design, uh, from the carousel uh, when it first came out, the carousel and uh, Jelly Bean. Uh, there's a uh, night and day type of difference the device supports every game now and it plays them all you know at, at minimum 45 FPS you know it, it plays Modern, Co Modern Combat 3 it plays uh, Nova 3 it plays uh, everything you know and with no hiccups no stuttering no nothing it plays it all perfectly and These are all the widgets. I, I know that you guys can't see a lot while I'm still waiting for my camera to arrive. Uh, for the better quality, I have to use, sadly, I have to use another tablet to to make it where you can you guys can actually see something. Uh, this uh, Kindle Fire is running 
running at 1.2 gigahertz uh, and it minimum is 600 megahertz and the battery life is around six to seven hours if you play constantly for example I passed the game um, Emissary of War I passed it uh, the whole game which which took me about two and a half hours which is really sad because you know I, I expected more I expected it to last a little bit more but yeah it didn't last that long so uh, Google Earth works everything on the tablet works uh, the reason why um, I don't have uh, a lot of stuff on it right now is because um, I had to install all these ROMs and every time I install the ROM I, I delete the system and I delete everything and so that it functions smoothly as you just saw it, it was smooth and you know it's pinch to zoom turn you know like it's got no stuttering no nothing you know no nothing it's just perfect so that's what I did with the uh, Kindle Fire I think it's a uh, this is the original Kindle Fire I mean this is amazing an amazing device uh, people don't even realize that what the capabilities of this device are and it can handle every game all you need to do is root it all you all the information you need is on on the Google website I mean all you need to do is search for it you can find how to root your device and once you rooted it uh, just install uh, uh, you can sideload the Google manager that's G O O manager and uh, that's the basically the raw manager in it it will find ROMs and you know you can that's the easiest way to install ROMs but you know the uh, the explanations are all there you know all on the Google websites or the XTA forums you know a lot of the level developers you know are developing uh, things even though Kindle Fire is pretty old now c considering how fast the uh, technology is moving forward but they still haven't forgotten it so they're still making stuff for it so it it's still a neat a pretty f neat device it's it's still fast and everything works just smooth as butter you know? You know, that's I think that's why they call it Project Butter, because even on the Kindle Fire. Oh, and uh, one thing about uh, you know the Jelly Bean feature, where you talk, you know, ask questions and on Google Talk, uh, not Google Talk, but uh, it has a feature this where you need a microphone, but uh, the original Kindle Fire didn't ca didn't come with a microphone what you can do is plug in a headphone headphones with a microphone and that way it will work <laughs> but you know you can go around that so you can actually use it if you actually plug it in I just don't understand why they didn't you know put in at least a microphone you know so you can uh, do voice memos or something I mean they made many mistakes when they made this device but they didn't make a mistake when they put in the chip and the power we are 540 graphics GPU so that's it for now um, uh, please uh, subscribe leave a comment if you want to see more tell me thumbs up thumbs down if you like it or if you don't I'm trying for now and I'll find a better camera so I can make more videos thank you have a great day guys